Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and I'm going to be taking a look at a brand new game, Project High Rise. This is a building management and construction sim. We'll go ahead and hop right into a new game. And every time you start, you get a randomly generated street name. We're going to go ahead and take 200 East Randolph Street. That's fine for me. I'm going to go ahead and go on the default difficulty setting of Engineer. And there are different difficulties. More or less, it's how good the economy is and what kind of money you start with is what the difficulty is. And then your lot size. We're going to go ahead and go standard. So we're going to go full on default here. We'll go ahead and start. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take a uh, contract with the city now currently it looks like i may already have one yes i have proof of concept which what i have to do for this is i have to get my daily rent revenues up to a thousand dollars a day now that doesn't necessarily mean that i have a surplus of a thousand dollars a day i just need to have an income of a thousand dollars so i could have expenses exceeding that and i would still get the contract and then outside of that, we've got more people needed. I need a population of 50. And uh, this isn't just uh, apartment residents or anything like that. It could be uh, offices as well. So that contributes to your population. We have basic offices, which we need to have 16 small offices. And it does say they have to be diverse, but I don't think it, the number is more than what matters rather than uh, the diversity. Then we have studio apartments. And we have to construct 10 of those. And then we need a bit of variety. So we need something that serves breakfast, lunch, and coffee. Well, offices are the easier of the bunch to do. And we also get some influence out of, of completing this as well. So I'll go ahead and take this one. And the reason why offices are easier to do is because offices, the small offices that you uh, get in the early part of the game, are more or less the least demanding of the different buildings that you can construct. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build a new floor because I don't want to put my offices on the ground floor, although I could if I wanted to. So I'm going to construct a new floor, and to do that, I just drag across. Now, I have to have something supporting, so I can't have this hanging off into space, but this will be perfectly legal. And then I also need a way to get up to that floor, so I'm going to install some stairs here. And away we go. So right now we're waiting for our construction workers to show up. So we can go ahead and speed up time so that they come in, they get their coffee, they read their paper, whatever they need to do, and then they come up and start working. Alright, and now that they are coming across here. We're going to need a couple things to make this work. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need to bring utilities up because every office is going to need a minimum of electricity. So once we have that all constructed, we'll go ahead and set up utilities. The utilities, we're going to need a wiring closet to do that. And then we're going to have to figure out offices what we're going to do. So we've got small offices. Small offices are about four size. So we might be able to fit three in here if I'm approximating this correctly. So we've got one, two, and three. And then once we have that, we have to select what kind of tenant we want. So we have insurance offices and accounting offices. Now, insurance offices are going to be the least demanding, but we can just take a look at both of them to see what the requirements would be. So insurance offices, we need just electricity and they do expect copy services, so they'll be unhappy if we don't have the copy services, and we'll go ahead and provide that for them. And also, we have their daily rent that they're going to provide us, so that's 90 a day and then 95 a day. Now, all of these guys are more or less expecting the same thing. And then we also have a couple other choices here. They all want the same thing, but there's just different uh, rates of rent that they'll provide. Now, these guys here... They not only expect a copy service, but they also expect a courier service. Outside of that, that's all they really want from me. But they will give me more rent than the insurance offices. But again, we need that extra service that uh, for them. So right now we're looking at about $20 to $30 more, it looks like. 
than the insurance offices. And these guys all don't need anything else outside of what we discussed. Now, there are other offices, but right now, building does not meet requirements for legal offices. More than likely, we need to increase our prestige. Prestige is something we'll go over in a little bit more detail later. But for now, I think insurance offices is the better bet. So we're going to go ahead and switch to that. And why not take the guy that gives me the best rent? So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we need a couple more. And it looks like the 90 is going to be fine. So we've got Global Insurance Company. And then we've got... We'll go ahead and take Bedrock Inc. here. Okay, so we have a few offices set up. Now we have to think about this courier service. Well, I don't think I want to put it in the basement, although that technically would be possible. And just so you can see, there are certain requirements for certain uh, rooms in the building. So for instance, the offices here need to be above ground floor or on the ground floor. So they, you can't put them down in the basement, which is kind of a bummer because it'd be interesting to build a uh, facility that's entirely underground. But unfortunately, none of the uh, rent paying tenants would uh, be legally placed down there. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, utilities wise though, I am gonna need electricity as we've discussed through those requirements. And to do that, I'm just gonna drag across the electrical line from that electrical closet, and that should be perfectly fine. So more or less, we have the closet is gonna bring power up vertically, and then the line is going to bring it uh, horizontally. All right, so that is more or less good to go. I'm going to go ahead and slow some the time down. And we're going to actually expand the building a little bit because we have plenty of cash. So one thing I'm going to plan for is an eventual elevator. So elevator needs three space, so might as well uh, allow for that. So we're going to need one, two, three space. And then the courier service which is going to be down here in services. And then I have to choose what type of service. So we're going to need office services because these are offices. And then we have courier service. Courier looks like they are, it's kind of hard to tell, five in size. So we're going to need possibly five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll go ahead and put in that courier service as soon as the... Uh, Construction team has finished that, so we might as well speed up time here. And right now, they're installing the offices, but they'll work down below. Now, there's absolutely no reason for me to build over here unless I actually have plans to, uh, as building costs more money, and the further up you go, the higher the cost is. So as long as I build on the ground floor, everything's cheaper, but as soon as I start going up, those costs will go up as well. So for now, the stairs are the bare minimum of what I need to get up and down this building, and that will suffice. But we are going to plan for the installation of it, eventually. So here's going to be our courier service. And eventually, it will be right next to the elevator when we install that. Okay, so daily budget. Currently, revenue is at $500, uh, and total expenses actually exceeds our revenue because we just don't have enough offices running. But eventually, we'll be able to get that up. Matter of fact, we're only really losing a little bit. Uh, operating cost versus uh, rent revenue is not that far off. Of course, I am going to have to bring utilities over to courier because the courier doesn't need electricity. And there we go. Now we have an illegal courier. And our office offices won't get unhappy with us. Okay, so now that we have that installed, I could keep going up and up. Or I could go out. As I already discussed, things that uh, as long as you keep uh, lower down, you're not giving the same kind of cost. But now we talked about tenants that would give me more rent. And how we would do that is they needed copy services, if I remember correctly. And that's there. And copy service is going to be exactly the same size as the courier service. So we might as well go ahead and construct for that. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to go ahead and build out a the next floor here. You know, one thing I didn't really plan on that was a little bit of an oversight is I am going to eventually need other utilities outside of electricity. For instance, water. 
But I don't think it's the end of the world. We can always tack that on somewhere else. So it doesn't necessarily have to go through the middle of the building. Oh, and we're paused. So we can get some of that construction done. And there's no point in building the copy services until we actually need it. So I'm going to build the offices first. And get some of those higher rent payers in here. And... Oh, it does look like we do need some diversity here. So we need one more insurance agent. We need four accountants. Four lawyers and four creatives. All right, so let's first get the uh, accountants, right? Because that was the next one we could do. So we're going to have one, two, and that's all we can fit for now because we're not quite long enough yet. But we can expand out later. And we're going to need the accounting offices. So obviously I'm going to want to get the ones that give me the most money. And these guys only need, they expect copy services. We've already discussed that. And they need electricity. So we'll go ahead and grab the Colombo and Associates. You sh probably should be solving murders rather than doing accounting. But And then we want uh, Riviera Tax or Pinnacle Tax Services. Well, Pinnacle sounds better, right? All right, so all we have left to do is give them utilities. And then we might as well, while we're here, give utilities to the copy service, which we're about to install. So here's copy service, and there you go. All right, so we're going to get a little bit more revenue here. But we're going to have more costs because we have more operational costs. We have a, a courier service uh, as well as a copy service as well as the increased utilities. So there is going to be some cost to these expansions that we're making. And there we go. And our population is now at 10. And we have a couple accountants in there. And once our population goes up enough, we will get prestige. As it says here, once we get 20 population, we'll get one star of prestige. And prestige unlocks various buildings that you can get further down the road. More or less, once you get enough prestige, more and more people will want to move into your building. So that's obviously a good thing. Well, I see no reason why not to continue construction here. So we'll just move things over one space and we'll put in another office as that is a fairly easy move to make. And we might as well put in the elevator now. I don't see a reason why not. Now, we're not quite big enough to really require an elevator, and I might have been able to get away with it. Or get away without it, I guess, would be a better way of saying that. Okay, so we have... Oh, actually, I need another one over besides that. My bad. Now, another thing you might have seen is the number of tenants that we have available to us doesn't really change immediately. To demonstrate this, let's go ahead and take a look at our list again. You'll note that the number of insurance offices and accounting offices really hasn't changed. Maybe we've gained one insurance office, but accounting offices, we still have the same two that was here before, a Riviera Tax Service and Cohen Tax Offices. Now, over in insurance office, I think we acquired a new one. I'm not exactly sure. I think Browning Insurance was here before. So, we will eventually run out of viable tenants until enough time passes. So, right now, Riviera Tax Services is pretty much the highest paying tenant that we can get in this office. So, why not do so? We're going to go ahead and do that. And they should already have all the services they need, so not really a big deal. And at this moment, we're one away from the accountants and one away from insurance. Now, as far as horizontal movement, I'm pretty much satisfied. Oh, we didn't do our utilities. I'm pretty much satisfied with where we're at, so... And it looks like we're actually getting a surplus in rent now, which is good. Which means we're not losing money, which is even better. But right now, our today's rent is six twenty-five. We can even see, if I click on this, what our operating cost versus uh, rent revenue is. And right now, we're doing just fine. 
Now, one thing about the utility uh, that we have is this can only support so many rooms. And right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rooms hooked up to this power. And this size power can only supply 10 rooms. So we are going to eventually need to upgrade our power services. Now I could do that now and save myself the bother later. And this will cost me 2,000, which is definitely more than the previous uh, power type, but uh, it gives me 50 rather than 10. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this right next to the other power building. And we could evict this, but there's not really a reason to do so, I don't think. But this should uh, give me power for the future, and that's obviously a good thing. Another thing we're probably going to want is... And I'm trying to remember what it is under. It's probably under infrastructure. Building staff. We're gonna, probably going to want maintenance at some point. And we can stick that in right there. So why not? All right. Now that that's done, let's think about expanding upwards. So we're going to need to go to infrastructure. And we're going to go and draw out the new floor. I noticed I missed a spot. And of course, as before, we're going to need a way to get up. So we might as well do that. But there's no real reason to expand the basement at the moment outside of what we have. So I'm happy with our situation. And at the moment, we're just trying to get that 20th resident so we can get that one-star prestige. And we'll be able to probably get some more tenants here in the small offices. We'll probably not be able to move beyond small offices at the moment. But at least we can get up to some higher paying tenants. All right, so now that we have some of this built, I might as well go ahead and get the utility closet, which is gonna be right there. And then let's start thinking about offices. So I'm going to build an office here. And let's go ahead and grab. So we have the insurance guys, and there's no reason not to do the $90 guy, clearly. So we'll do that. And I'm going to also do uh, an, an accountant as well. I'm just uh, waiting to do that. We're going to go ahead and put that there. And I don't see a reason why not to get an elevator built here. Let's go ahead and get the last accountant that we need, which is Cohen Tax Offices. Now, Cohen Tax Offices is not going to give us as much money as actually going to be uh, the lowest amount of money we've gotten out of all of our accountants. But it's definitely worth it in my mind. And now we've achieved the four insurance agents, four accountants, and now we need lawyer and creatives. And hopefully this will also bring the population up high enough that we get to 20. It might not, though. We'll have to see. And of course, I need to draw utilities before this uh, construction project is done. So let's do that now. There we go. And of course, some of this is just waiting for things to show up. Okay. So our courier services and copy services are doing their jobs, making sure our customers are satisfied. And it looks like we're just shy of getting that 20th resident. So Let's go ahead and build another office here. I'm going to put it right here. And we might have no choice other than to get taken an insurance office, uh, which is kind of a bummer. I would have loved to have taken legal services, but I'm going to take the insurance office because it's the only thing available. And again, we're, we're taking the uh, lower paying uh, tenants, but hey, it's something. Something's better than nothing. And it will give us the prestige we need. So that's obviously what we're looking for. Now there's other ways of getting prestige as you can see here. You can get it from artwork. And happy tenants as well as completing special contracts. You can also lose it by evictions and moving out. Uh, tenants moving out because they're unhappy. So that's something to keep an eye on too. Oh really? That, that person only uh, uh, gave me one population so we may have to build yet another office here okay 
So we're actually losing money at the moment. Now, I don't know how that is factored, though. I don't know if it factors in my building expenses into that or not. That's not really made clear. But uh, build one more office here. And we only have one other potential t tenant. And then we'll grab the electricity over there. Okay, and that should do it. Our population should give us the prestige we need. Okay, so we've gotten that prestige number. So this will more than likely give me access to some more things. So I don't know if we can actually see uh, without... I don't want to evict the guy because obviously that would make me lose the prestige. Um, we'll have to see. But in any case, let's go ahead and grab another office here and just see what's available. So I grab the office. Legal offices are... Needs greater variety of small restaurants. Okay. Well, this doesn't cost me anything to place down. It costs me something to actually select what it is. So they want restaurants. And maybe that's something I could have done earlier. And if that's the case, that's my bad. So we're going to allocate space for a restaurant down here near the lobby. And this works exactly how the offices work. They want... Uh, you have potential tenants, but they want certain things. So we can do a, a food court restaurant... And we've got a burger joint, which is going to give us 100 per day. And then we've got some sushi, which is going to give us 90 a day. And then some wraps, which is going to give us 95 a day. Now, clearly, they all have the same requirements. So we're going to take the 100 a day, obviously. And then we have cafes. Now, this guy here will give us much more rent than the others. But, and it also requires that one prestige, which is something that we've gotten. But it needs water services, something that we don't quite have yet. And because of the way I built my building, unfortunately, the water utility is probably going to be on the other side of the building. So I'm going to have to draw that pipe all the way over there. But this person does give me more money. So that might be a good idea. So let's see what we can do to make that happen. So we're going to need a closet. Alternatively, I could just do a burger joint and be done with it. You know what? I'll do the burger joint. It's not... Yeah, it's more money, but it, it's more cost to me and more inconvenience to me. I could always put the cafe over here somewhere, which is a little bit easier, I think, to manage. But uh, we'll go ahead and do the uh, burger joint because it gives me the most money. And we need power for that. And it should be in a nice high-traffic area. Although people can go up the stairs to go around it. The elevator's right nearby, so that should be good. Okay. And I don't know if this will count as being there until... Oh, no. Legal offices immediately opened. All right, so legal offices. They only need electrical line. This guy needs a phone line, though. And then we have electrical line. Anything else? They already have courier and copy services, so they'll be fine with that. All right, so these guys, the guys that don't want phone lines, they're not going to cost me any more money. I'm sorry, the, the guys that just want electricity, they're not going to cost me any more money to establish, but they'll give me about the same amount of money that the accounting guys would give me. But if I get the phone lines in there, I can get a significant increase in money, but of course I'd have more utility cost. So let's see here. Do I get rid of the electricity and then just have a... A phone thing here instead might be a good idea. I don't think I'll get any money back for doing this, but let's go ahead and do that. I don't... Okay, and then we need phone. And we'll do a small booth of that. Service is 10, which is what we want. Oh, I probably need to wait. Yeah, they need to remove the building here. That's taken quite a while. All right, um, I'll go ahead and put another office in while we wait. Okay, now that it's ready, go ahead and grab phone utilities and put that in right there. And then we're going to need to draw the lines later, but that's okay. And let's get the legal offices that are going to pay me the most money. So we've got 165. 
we've got a couple instances of that. So I'll go ahead and take that guy. And we'll take the other 165 tenant. Which is there. And then we need the utilities. First, we'll do electrical. And then we need phone. Now, this office here doesn't need phone, but we're going to need to draw it across. There we go. And now we have phone services. So they should be perfectly happy. And we'll have two lawyers. Hopefully giving me enough money that I'm not running this huge deficit anymore. But I did change some utility costs, so that might be an issue as well. Okay, uh, I think it's time to start thinking about building up again. I'm going to go ahead and draw another floor. And we're going to need a staircase. There you go. Now, I think they might have been able to get up through the elevator, but... It'll be fine. I don't think I'll know what the uh, amount of money is going to look like until the day is over. But I'm for sure going to get past this requirement. And what is some of our factors like? What about noise? All right, so we got some noise in the high traffic areas. The reason I'm looking at this is I'm thinking, do we want to switch over to your residential building? We might wait for that, but... All right, so I just got proof of concept, which gave me 500 bucks. And we're running just a slight deficit as far as rent and costs go. And hopefully we'll be addressing that soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at contracts. More people needed would probably be one of the easier things to do. Uh, I'm not ready to do incremental income. And then we have studio apartments. I'm not ready for that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead... And do more people needed 50 population. We're going to be trying to work towards that anyway. And we get 500 bucks up front. So go ahead and sign that. There we go. And I think it's time for offices. So let's go ahead and get some more offices in here. So we've got one, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and build an elevator as well. Because once they, you know, you start getting up and up in the floors, that's going to be a problem. Of course, we also need utility closet. Okay, so let's take a look at the next thing, creative offices. They need greater variety of cafes. So we don't have a cafe right now. And I did discuss what we would need to do to get a cafe. Now, the cafe wants a high traffic area. So more than likely, they'd want to be over here somewhere. We could just do a simple cafe, and that would just be this. Now, I do want some element of a lobby area, although I could build one over here if I really wanted one. So, it's not the end of the world if I put it here. And then, they want a cafe. So, again, I could go for the water utility. And I could even put that water utility over here so it wouldn't be as much of a stretch. Just not sure what I want to do here. Because the, the difference in money is pretty dramatic. But the water hookup for just this building would be kind of a bit much. So I'm just going to go with a normal cafe. And hopefully that will take care of what these guys desire. And yeah, there we go. Creative offices. So we need how much? We need two more lawyers and four creative offices. So legal offices we still have plenty of. Let's take a look at what the creative offices want, though. They want electrical and phone, and they expect 
bottled water service, which is not something we have at the moment. And I'm going to have a feeling that all of them want that. And, uh, okay. So for now, I'm just going to take legal offices. So let's take this guy who's worth 160. Hold on. I want to make sure I select the one that's closest to the utility closet. So we'll take this guy worth 160. And then I'll take one more legal office. This guy only needs electricity. So we'll take that guy. Oh, well, granted, this guy over here, if we make him creative, is going to need... Ah, that was a mistake. It's all right. We'll, we'll make do. In any case, utilities. For now, all we need is electricity to there. And then we need phone to there. Okay, so that's good. Let's think about building the water bottle service. So I'm going to go ahead and build out my basement. And I'm probably going to put a staircase at this end. But, oh, I missed one. There we go. Okay. Now, I'll go ahead and grab one of these creative offices, because it doesn't really matter. They all give me the same amount of money, so let's just go off of the one that we want the most. Oh, model agency. Why not? And we're going to need the phone services, so we'll get that going. Something has displeased one of my tenants. Oh, probably the fact that they don't have electricity. <laughs> uh, utilities, electricity. There we go. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think this is a good point to put a cut in the video. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.